peace, love, and light, Pisces. I hope the sun is shining wherever you are and you're living in your greatest purpose. Pisces, thank you for all your donations, likes, comments, shares, and subscribes. And thank you for your support in reaching 10,000 subscribers. Uh, personal readings are being done at this time. All information can be found in the description box as well as the community tab. Let's get into your messages. Messages for Pisces. Okay, so this energy of uh, independent wealth is showing up. I'm seeing a king of cups. Um, your spiritual team is letting you know that you don't have to worry about doing it on your own anymore. Perhaps this is an energy of... Hmm, it's going to be some sudden changes showing up for you. King of Cups, King of Pentacles. So this could be you um, being in the King of Cups energy and also going into the King of Pentacles energy. Seven of Cups. Having choices. Wow, it's like all of these major arcanas are showing up for you here. King of Cups, King of Pentacles. Then there's a Seven of Cups, the Strength card, the Empress, the Moon. Hmm. Okay, so you, you may have a lot of major things happening in your life at this time, Pisces. <clears throat> there's a lot of things happening for you. Uh, let's check to see what's in your energy. Regarding this Nine of Pentacles. Um, Alright, let's see what's going on with this Nine of Pentacles energy. Nine of Pentacles. You could also be moving from a 9 to a 10, like, you know, your spiritual team letting you know that you're not in this by your lonesome Pisces. Mm. Okay, so things are changing for you here. The wheel card, four of cups, eight of swords. So things are changing for you. And I'm seeing this nine of pentacles is an energy of things changing. Four of cups, eight of swords and five of swords. It's some some kind of deceitful energy in there or someone giving up something. Someone may be giving up something that they had refused to give. Okay, and I'm seeing that this energy of someone giving up something may be helping someone else. Um... See this King of Cups. Someone's giving up something. Let me look at this Oracle deck. Tell me about this nine of pentacles. Okay. 
two. Okay, this is the Ace of Wands. Okay, Altar of Fire, good juju. It says, there's something in the air and it's your success. Great things are happening. Open yourself up to an opportunity. So you may actually be, or you, you could have, this Nine of Pentacles in reverse may be an indication of like something that you felt was slowing down for you financially. Uh, that's going to start picking up. So it says, this is not the time to tiptoe. Be big, bold. You're manifesting wonderful outcomes, but you must take creative action to let it all in. Be ready to expand and evolve. This is what you have been waiting for. Hmm. The fire tree, okay. It says the altar, the altar of fire is represented by the Gyadua, the fire tree of matriarchal Akan people. The fire holds the Kra or life energy of the supreme being, goddess Nyame. The fire trees were planted by the queen mother who maintained the ancestral altars, shrines, to goddess Nyame on behalf of her people. Mm. There's something changing. Um, it almost seems like your luck is changing regarding something. It's it's an energy. It's it's like you know a momentum being picked up. Like you may have had some missed opportunities and I'm seeing this is what the nine of pentacles represents. You, or you may have felt like there were some missed opportunities. Um, you're about to experience progress. It's like, uh, it's like something's picking up in your energy. Let's see, 38. This is the page of pentacles. So yeah, this is good news for your finances. So you may have experienced um, possibly this nine of pentacles, this nine of pentacles in reverse may represent a slowdown or feeling like you miss an opportunity. I'm seeing that this, um, this represents like, like you're getting your, it's like some good luck on your side. Okay, you're about to experience like um, some really good, like, it almost seems like that this is some karmic type of like, uh, it's not, if there's such a thing like a karmic fortune, like this is part of something that you did that is causing this, um, it's like a spontaneous like bounce back. You're bouncing back from something. Um... And it could have been like a, a mishap, an energy of mishap. Something that may have seemed to be that that may have appeared stale, stagnant, wasn't moving, um, may have slowed down is picking up. I'm seeing this eight of wands represents the energy picking up. Um, some of you may have actually come to the point where you wanted to surrender uh like i'm hearing you may have wanted to surrender you or you are about to surrender right when things were about to pick up like your your spirit guides are telling you this is not the time to surrender this is the time um like you're going to experience a pickup in the energy In your energy and your good news it's something that's picking up momentum like your luck is about to change is what i'm hearing okay i'm seeing ace of cups um
altar of water love overflowing okay so this has to do with love as well <laughs> so things are picking up with your finances as well as love page of pentacles ace of cups this is good news coming to you in love this is why i'm hearing your luck is about to change in love and every aspect like career um it's saying divine love romantic love communal love every kind of love is pouring through you this is the beginning of something beautiful make way for the joy of new love this new relationship can be a friendship or a new suitor it could even be a career partnership that you love or even a renewed love for an, an already existing person or situation in your life either way you are worthy and deserving of this magnificent new blessing the water ancestors represent emotions allow the seeds to joy of joy to blossom it's saying uh, sweet water mother the origin oh the orisha oshun comes forward to teach us the holy blessing of libation and ancient prayer practice so some of you um you may have oshun as a deity that walk with you i'm seeing that oshun is renewing um is restoring your luck okay goddess oshun is restoring your luck your luck is about to change um it says sweet water mother the orisha oshun comes forward to teach us the holy blessing of libation an ancient prayer practice pouring libations is a key traditional way to honor ancestors in many cultures and countries throughout africa so um i'm hearing that you know you may have reached a point where things slowed down you may have energetically felt like you wanted to give up on something like you wanted to just throw in the towel you know and and call it quits and there is some point um i'm seeing that this deity okay so for many of you oshun is your mother uh oshun walks with you is an ancestor of love um oshun makes you realize self-love and that energy in itself it's it's so infectious and it's so powerful that it affects everything else so this deity actually could um be making major changes in your life um as it relates to your finances as well as self-love and love that you have towards others and this is why i'm hearing your luck is about to change Yep, your luck is about to change. Um, the declaration, I trust the guidance of my heart. Okay, let me see if there's... Um, this is an energy of you surrendering. It's like the progress started coming right before you threw in the towel. Right? Right before you threw in the towel, the progress came. Like, this is you in a state of surrender. And the progress it things started picking up and so your luck has changed because the wheel card is here and goddess oshun has restored your luck your luck is about to change um some of you may actually be experiencing like major breakthroughs creatively coming up with a lot of ideas Okay, these ideas are being gifted to you so that way um, your finances will change. The circumstances that make you feel kind of like overpowering sort of energy. Okay, that's going to change. It says you have more than enough energy to bring the sacred visions held within your life to life. An increase of energy and peacefulness is indicated. You are guided to choose high energy people, places, and purposes. High energy does not necessarily mean that which is highly stimulating, but rather that which regenerates you through peacefulness and joy. See, your energy is picking up. See, because your luck is changing, your energy is also going to change. And a major part of you changing your luck, it has to do with 
this energy change. And in regards to the energy change, okay, this is represented by this Eight of Wands here, which is an energy um, card. It's a it's progress, it's movement, it's momentum, okay. And the mere fact that this is the energy is changing, uh, where you may have felt like you were ready to surrender, okay you will no longer surrender because you realize that you have spiritual backup. You have Goddess Oshun working with you. Um, you have Nana Baluka working on your behalf. Mm -hmm. And you also have the wheels of karma. It's like something that you also did is bringing this gift to you too. And I'm hearing it's time to harvest. Okay, it is your time to harvest. It's not time to give up. It's time to harvest because your luck is changing. Uh, Goddess Oshun is restoring your luck in finances and love. This is the message, Pisces. If this message resonates, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Until next time, love, peace, and divine light.